Guys, uh, Jehoho back at it again. Now, um, it's been a while and I'm kind of sorry about that, but we're going to look at Turner this time. This one's probably going to be a little short because it's not really a combo guide, straight up. It's just not because Turner doesn't really work that way. It's just going to be a skill kind of recap, how to use them, and um, what kind of items to build on them. Let's go over his skills. So his passive Hunter's Eye, Turner has an even greater chance of unleashing huge amounts of damage upon enemies. It gives him a critical chance plus 15%. His Q, he basically throws out a bird and increases the vision. I'll even show it to you. It gives you vision in a straight line for that area, but it also buffs your allies. It increases critical rate of allies and uh, shares field of vision with them as well. And it detects stealth enemies. So if they are stealth, you're still going to see them based purely on the fact that you threw out the eagle drops a bear trap as it says in the the freaking scale you can see this giant bear trap on his back anyway he drops it does damage binds the person for three seconds and if i attack them the uh that the people that are bound by the bear trap i do critical damage basically all his kit works off critical like you want to get as many criticals as possible now his keen instincts he focuses and he gets uh, attack speed boost movement speed boost and another movement speed boost when there's target within 1500 units so the closer they are to you the more of the boost you get go ahead i keep forgetting to do this and go ahead and do this get them all the way up there anyway and his a is basically like a sniper shot he fires a careful shot that does additional damage it does like quite a bit of damage and his uh r he selects he picks a person puts a bounty on them and it ignores damage dispersion does the increased critical damage and is more uh, it does increase critical damage and increases your critical rate. If you kill them, you get a reward of gold plus 50%. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade all my items and show you all what exactly I run with it on him. So, we do critical rate shoes, the Crimson Sprinters. You know, you get your movement speed and critical rate plus 10%. Plus 10%. So, early on, it gives you a really good way to lock in some damage, uh, or at least some critical shots. And then after that, I use the ESP Assault Rifle, which you saw on my. Uh, previous video, but it actually works for him because it increases your regular projectile attack range by 100 units, which means like I can shoot further. So the further they are away from me, actually, as Turner, the better. Um, next, I would go uh, with the Assassin's Guitar because I want to get some defense penetration with my crits. So that way I'm burning through their defenses and getting that crit damage in on them. Also, you get an additional uh, little set here when critical rate is at least 60%. And increases attack by 35 then the only only uh, item I use for him that's specific to him is his master's rifle because it enhances aim shot does more damage and decreases its cooldown uh, counts as a regular attack I like that I did put some lifesteal on him this one's kind of if you want to or not because I don't put defense on him at all so this gives me some sustain so when people are trying to run through my shots if I don't have the damage at least to kill them before they get to me, I'm regaining at the same time. So by the time they do get a few attacks off on me, you know, they're dead. Anyway, um, it, it increases it. I'm sorry. When equipped, it creates a barrier that absorbs damage. Hotkey is left shift. Shield generator upgrade increases barrier duration by 2 seconds. It incre increases barrier damage absorbed by 50%. The Breath of Fire Blade I get because I want to get some health on him. Uh, typically, I put this last because I don't get it right away. You shouldn't be in a position where you're getting closed in all the time as Turner. That's what the bear traps are actually for. They're not preemptive. They're more reactive. You can do it preemptively, but typically you want to drop them down when someone's like coming, getting close towards you. You drop it down and they get stuck in it, and then you just unload on them. Anyway, after using a skill, your next regular attack within 5 seconds inflicts an additional... 100% of your attack damage now this is the order I go in mind you you can do it in whatever order you want but let's take a look at his skills and I'll show you the left shift here real quick there's my barrier hey you can see the timer going down on it there you go alright now it has 84 seconds so I'm gonna reset that I'm gonna refresh it alright so it's auto attacks he just fires aim shot there you go and we already saw the Q with the bird his E, his focus. As you can see, it does it does do quite a bit of damage once you have that set up. Now, his R looks like this. You got to be careful. Once you're actually in a game, it's going to show up with four different people. Since I'm only in training, it's just going to give me her. She gets a bounty put on her. I do crits to her. 
It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Then I'll get the gold after she's dead. Now, um, for his bear traps, is one thing you need to make sure of that you realize is that you're dropping them on top of you. He doesn't throw them out forward. He doesn't throw them behind. He drops them exactly where he's standing. So if I wanted to show you what it did, I'd have to be on top of her, drop it, she gets stuck. I got three seconds to do these crits. There you go. Now, for the sake of this particular hyper, I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, mm -mm. Mm. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn her on. Because she does get close. And I want y'all to see... Oh god. How this could be essentially bad. And how to work around that. Now, she would have defenses, so the damage wouldn't be that high on her. But... You know, also typically people won't walk into that. But this is pretty much how you're going to want to play right, play with Cerner. You're going to want to kite. Get people to walk into that if you can. Good lord. And uh, get off as many pot shots as you can on people. So kite, get people to walk into your bear traps, and get as many shots off as you can. The, uh, the second item... The assault rifle is actually really good because it does give you that extra range to be able to kite and still get the damage off on people. Well, anyway, this one was really short because Turner is really simple and these are basic guides. These are basic item builds, basic uh, combos. He doesn't really have them, but I mean, you can link all his all his stuff into each other, but not in the same way you would with someone like Lewis, for example. There you go. That's something to show you heard it stops dashes too um so i didn't see a real point of making this one that long anyway though i do hope it helps and i hope it helps you get like just a step forward into this particular hyper he's fun to play but you do you don't necessarily have to rely on a good team but you need people to do some pill for you get people off of you if you can't get it get them yourself because your traps you have three trap charges so um after you lay down three, it has to recharge. It's something you want to make sure that you're paying attention to. There is a number over the, the bear traps, so you can see them, and you, you do know exactly how many you have. But yeah, essentially, you're just going to want to kite and fire. If you can get that down, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to run with them really well. And again, your basic item build, you want to do attack damage and crit rate or damage. Anyway, guys. It's been fun, as always. This one was really short, I know. But uh, have a good day, morning, noon, or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Get a Joho in there somewhere, and I guarantee it'll make it better. Catch you next time.